So we're looking at something, General, that is fairly equidistant. You're saying that radar may not have picked up this plane based on if it went out far enough here. So that does make the general's theory somewhat plausible. If, if, if this was the sea track outside of about 200 well, miles... Aren't we looking out the, here right yeah, now? That, that, would, that, would be, that would be a feasible option in my book, up until right. you get to coasting in. Now, when you get to coasting in, Pakistan's area radar is very sensitive. It's been in a long conflict with India. It's very sensitive, and so it will pick up anything that is unidentified on Squawk, that isn't part of an IFR flight plan, and that right. isn't part of a VFR flight plan. So in my, in my hypothesis, the only way an aircraft could get into Pakistan would be through the acquiescence of the Pakistan government. All right, now let me turn back to the general. General, that would mean, and that you, we've actually addressed this with you before, you believe that in fact Pakistan would know about this and they would be complicit. Do you, can you explain why you believe that? I believe the ISI was complicit just like they were complicit in knowing where Osama bin Laden was. For what reason they were complicit in what's going on, I don't have that answer. But I believe to have done that, they would have had governmental complicity, primarily the ISI, that let that happen. And as the, uh, the Boeing source said, that they landed in the, quote, Taliban part of Pakistan, which really means the western part of Pakistan. There are three bases there. Did you just say there. you have a Boeing source that told you this? No, there was a Boeing source, Sean, in the uh, LigNet um, web page okay. that pointed well, that out. And uh, you checked with Boeing. Yeah, they're not, I, I've checked with them, too. They're not answering many questions right now, if any at all. La last question, General. A, a lot of people have written to me about the things you've been saying, and they feel... You're a serious person who has served this country with great distinction and that you've really gone out a little bit on a limb here. To what degree do you believe you are correct here? Because I'm with you to the point where, yes, the transponder's off. Yes, the, the ACARS is off. Yeah, it was programmed within the computer. I think that's pretty well been established. But at that point, I don't know what happened. You've gone out and you said you think this has happened. Others think it might have crashed in the Indian Ocean. To what degree certainty do you, do you put forward this hypothesis? Well, the best I can with the information I had, and not all the information is out, for instance, what was on the pilot simulator, et cetera, I still believe it's 60 to 75 percent okay. chance that I am correct, the airplane did not crash, and that it's going to be used in a future radical Islamist terrorist movement. 